Hello again. <laughs> oh, um, I don't, actually don't know if you guys are watching this in sequence. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but never mind. Um, I'm Dylan. I'm one of the actors from Duffy Books and Homes who bring Duffy Theatre to the schools that you guys go to. Um, but unfortunately we can't do that at the moment, so I've got another book. And Kiwi's ready for this one. All set up and prepared with his own... Uh, with his own wee bandana there. Because we've got... Ninjago. Masters of Spinjitsu. Sweet ninja book, man. Thank you to Scholastic for... Scholastic, sorry. For setting us up with this book as well. Um, I'm not sure who it's written by, but it's adapted, at least, by Tracy West. Uh, so let's get into it. See what these ninjas are up to, eh? Make sure Kiwi can see, and I'll put my glasses on. Cool. Let's have a look. So, as the sun rose over Ninjago, four young ninja pulled a wagon up a tall mountain. They were on a quest to find the Scythe of Quakes, one of the four weapons of Spinjitsu. In the wagon sat Sensei Wu, their teacher. So that's them there. Got a nice shot of them. A nice family photo. <laughs> Akai, the ninja in red, was the newest member of the team. So where did Sensei find you three? Kai asked the others. I was testing my limits, answered Cole, the ninja in black. I climbed the tallest mountain without any tools. But when I reached the top, Sensei Wu was there drinking his tea. Oh. Oh, yeah, there he is just there. Chilling out. <laughs> I was testing my invention, said Jay, the ninja in blue. Jay had made a pair of wings. He tried to fly, only to crash and find Sensei Wu there. He was waiting on a nearby rooftop, drinking his tea. There he is again. Huh. And I was testing myself, said Zane, the quiet ninja in white. Zane was meditating at the bottom of a frozen lake. <laughs> and somehow, Sensei Wu was there underwater drinking his tea. Look at this. Defying the laws of physics. On that one. Nice. Stop! Sensei Wu cried suddenly. The ninja came to a halt. A large canyon stretched out in front of them. Skeleton warriors were digging into the side of the mountain. The caves of despair, Sensei said. Samukai must be close to unearthing the scythe of quakes. So they're digging into this cliff here. Okie dokie. Remember, do not use the weapon, Sensei Wu warned. For its power. Yeah, 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 Jay said. He had heard this from Sensei before. Its power is too much for us mortals. He turned to his friends. All right, guys, let's chop sucky this lemonade stand. Cole, you got the plan? Sure do, Cole replied. First we... Hey, where's Kai? Kai hadn't waited to hear the plan. The ninja saw him sneaking past the skeleton warriors in the canyon. Let's go, Jay cried. So that's them sitting up for a plan there. And Kai in the distance, completely ignoring it. Hopefully he doesn't get he doesn't get caught for that. Jay, Cole, and Zane jumped into the canyon. They saw rocks coming out of the caves on a conveyor belt. The skeleton warriors checked each rock, looking for the scythe of quakes. One of the warriors spotted Kai, but before he could cry out, the other ninja jumped him. Bam, pow, crunch! Cole, Jay, and Zane made sure the warrior couldn't sound the alarm. So here they are inspecting the rocks here. And, uh, yeah, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Good stuff, ninjas. Kai hid behind some rocks. He looked up at a tall tower in the middle of the canyon. Inside, he saw Samukai, king of the underworld. The map, Kai cried. The map showed where the four weapons of Spinjitsu were hidden. 
Samu Kai had stolen it from Kai's blacksmith shop. Mm. So you can kind of see him there, sitting in his tower. Nearby, two skeleton commanders were checking rocks on the conveyor belt. Cole, Jay, and Zane slid right under them. But Cruncher and Knuckle didn't notice. I found something! Knuckle cried, holding up a rock. Oh. Look at him. It's very triumphant there, pretty happy. But of course, the ninja sneaking underneath. Very ninja y. That's another rock, you bonehead! Cruncher yelled. But it's shaped like a donut! Knuckle said. I wonder if it tastes like one! Crunch! Knuckle bit down hard into the rock. Ow! I mean, what was he expecting? I, d I don't know. Kai climbed to the top of the tall tower. Cole, Jay, and Zane joined him. Jay smacked Kai on the head. What's the matter with you? Shh! Kai warned. He nodded toward a hole in the tower roof. Inside the tower, Samu Kai was reading the map. It's upside down, Jay realised. They're digging in the wrong spot. Is them realising the error of Samu Kai's ways? The golden weapon is near, Zane realised. He tied a shuriken to a rope and tossed it down the hole. Samu Kai didn't see it. The shuriken grabbed the map and Zane pulled it up through the hole. There's no time to waste, Kai said. He did a backflip off the tower and ran off. Awesome. What is it with that guy? Jay asked. Always in a rush. So that's Zane there tying the shuriken to the string. Pretty sweet. The ninja raced after Kai toward the spot where the scythe of Quakes was hidden. A big rock blocked the entrance. Cole, Jay, Kai, and Zane worked together to push it aside. The scythe of Quakes lit up the dark cave. The weapon lay on top of a statue of a dragon's head. That is so cool, Jay cried. His voice echoed through the cave. Oh, sorry. That is so cool. Cool. There it is there. Look at that. Sweet scythe, dude. <laughs> Shh! Not so loud! Cole warned. He jumped on top of the statue, grabbed the weapon, and tossed it to Kai. Now, <laughs> let's sneak out while those boneheads are still busy. <laughs> he said. Behind them, the statue's mouth slowly began to open. Oh dear. So they've got the weapon, but did they notice that it seems to be alive? The ninja walked outside of the cave, right into Samukai and his warriors. Samukai opened all four of his arms wide. Each bony hand held a sharp dagger. The ninja drew their swords and charged ahead with a battle cry. Maybe a bit better than that, but um, there's there's Samukai. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cole, J, Kai, and Zane fought their way through the army of skeleton warriors. There's too many of them! Kai yelled, whacking a skeleton with his head, whacking a skeleton with his sword. Let me handle it! Jay called out. He jumped into, m into the middle of a gang of warriors. Suddenly, Jay stopped. He looked at the warriors in front of him. Some held long staffs. Others were spinning weapons above their heads. Guys, it's just like Sensei's training course, he realized. All four ninja had practiced on the course. They wanted to learn spin jitsu, but so far, none of them could spin like Sensei Wu. So this is... All of the ninjas going into battle. And then... It looks just like a training course. They must have done this in a... Yeah, they must have done this many times in ninja training. Over the planks! Jay cried, jumping from warrior to warrior, knocking them down. Dodge the swords! 
Jay somersaulted over the heads of the sword-waving warriors. Here comes the dummy! He finished spinning into another warrior. Jay kept spinning faster and faster and faster until he became a glowing blue tornado. Spin Jitsu! Cole cried. Look at that! He's a sweet blue tornado! Nice! But look at this. <laughs> Sorry, can you make sure you can see? Jay, what's the key? Kai called out. I'm just going through the motions! Jay yelled back. Kai remembered the training. He jumped, he somersaulted, he spun, and he became a spinning tornado. Cole and Zane got it too. Soon all four ninja were using spinjitsu, taking out skeletons left and right. Nice. Yo, they're going in on those skeletons. Good stuff. Rich Rage! Samukai shouted. The four ninja chased Samukai and his army out of the cave. Cole flexed his muscles. Huh, guess they didn't want any more of these babies. Huh, he bragged. Then they all heard a strange growling noise behind them. Um, didn't Sensei say there was a guardian protecting the weapon? Zane asked. Oh, but this is Cole's sweet muscles there. Pretty cool. <laughs> the dragon statue wasn't a statue at all. It was a real dragon. The huge beast slowly rose to its feet. Is it... Is that what I think it is? Huh? Cole asked nervously. I sense we will not be able to spin our way out of this, Zane remarked. Very knowledgeably. The dragon reared back, opened its mouth, and blasted the ninja with a blazing orange flame. Wow! The ninja screamed as the blast knocked them down from this scary dragon dude. <laughs> Cole, Jay, Kai, and Zane raced away as hot dragon fire licked at their heels. Kai got a gleam in his eye. He removed the cloth that covered the scythe of quakes. Bad idea, Kai, Jay warned. Sensei told us not to use it. But Kai didn't listen. He ran up to the dragon. BAM! Kai swung the scythe and brought it down on the cave floor. The ground began to tremble and crack. The dragon lost its balance and fell. We've got to escape! Huh! Cole yelled. Unearthing the scythe of quakes there. And then, giving the dragon a good bonk to the head. Nicely done. The four ninja raced away, but the dragon wasn't down for long. It started to chase them. We can use spinjitsu! Huh! Cole cried. He started to spin, and his friends did the same. Soon four glowing tornadoes were swirling up the cave walls, heading for an opening in the ceiling. Cole, Jay, Kai, and Zane escaped through the hole before the dragon could catch them. That was so awesome! Huh! Cole cheered. He gave Kai a high five. Yeah, we were unbelievable, Kai yelled. We are the best, Zane said proudly. Did you see that? Jay asked. I was like, pow and bam! Yeah, so this is them spinning out of trouble. And a nice congratulatory high five there afterwards. Good stuff. Sensei Wu joins the four ninja. Kai, you are a part of a team now. Do not forget that. Sensei turned around. Come, there are three weapons left. The four ninja followed Sensei Wu out of the canyon. Now that they had mastered Spinjitsu, they were ready for their next adventure. Well, that's them walking off just there. Nice one. <laughs> and that's the story. That is awesome. Spinjitsu sounds like so much fun. That'd be so amazing. To be able to spin around and do awesome tricks and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Kiwi would be pretty keen to do that as well. That's awesome. Sweet. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and reading the book for a little bit. Um, see you later. <laughs>